Hi, I'm attorney Derek Martin with Driver Defense Team, and we handle a lot of traffic tickets here in the Chicagoland area. Um, but today we're actually talking about a type of ticket that we don't handle, and that is camera tickets. Probably familiar with these, you probably hate them like I do, but they're the tickets where you weren't pulled over by a police officer and handed a citation, but instead this ticket just shows up in the mail. And these are totally different than being pulled over by a police officer. And so we don't handle them and we're gonna talk about why we don't and I'll give you some advice on maybe how, how I recommend you do handle these tickets. And so first of all, what are they? Well, they're, I guess typically they're called camera tickets, but I guess the real name for them is automated enforcement tickets. And that's because they are automated. They're camera or video tickets that you receive. Typically the most common ones have to do with an intersection where you either mistimed it and you ran through the light while it turned red, or there was no turn on, on red, or maybe you didn't stop at the line in time, you kind of rolled up through it. In any case, they caught you on camera for that and you're gonna get the ticket. Another really common one in the city of Chicago is the speed enforcement ones. And I think the threshold is 11 miles an hour over, so if it gets you going 11 or more, then they're gonna mail you that. Um, and so, more specifically, they mail this to the registered owner of the vehicle because they don't actually know who's driving, but they do know based on the license plate that was captured, they check with the Secretary of State records, and so they know who the registered owner of that vehicle is. And the law says that the registered owner at that time is the one that is financially responsible for that ticket. And so you may not have even been driving, you lent your car out or it's often common that people sell their car and they don't actually uh, register it and, and handle that sale the right way. And so then they are stuck paying these tickets while someone else was driving their car. And that's what the law says. So I think you have a pretty good understanding of what these tickets are. So now let's talk about the effect that they can have on you. As I mentioned, they do not know that you're actually the one driving. So for that reason, these are not considered moving violations. No points go against your license, your personal driving record is not affected by these tickets. You could get a hundred of them next month and it would be incredibly expensive, but it would not affect your personal driving record because they are not considered moving violations. They are instead a financial issue, kind of like a parking ticket, right? It's an ordinance violation. And for that reason, we do not take these cases. We do not handle these types of tickets for you. Um, because quite honestly, they're really hard to win. If they got you on camera, you're probably not winning. And so that's a bad combination, right? One is it doesn't affect your license. And two is that it's really hard to win. So we do not advise paying a lawyer to fight these tickets for you. We won't even take your case. If you call us, we're not gonna give you any more advice than you're getting right here. Um, so instead, just pay them. I get these tickets from time to time. And instead of me uh, going into court and fighting them myself, um, I just pay them. And I try not to get any more in the future. And I keep current on these. And, and I thankfully haven't gotten one in a while. Knock on wood. And so that should give you some really good information, right? If the traffic lawyer doesn't even fight these tickets himself, well then you probably don't need to either or definitely don't hire a lawyer. Now the exception to that is if you watch the video and you didn't do it, right? I mean, there's something wrong. You have a defense or an excuse uh, that's legitimate. Or maybe the video is corrupt. I've seen that from time to time where you actually can't even view the video. Something malfunctioned. And so that may be a reason or a basis to get you out of the ticket, to get it dismissed. And so if you wanna go fight that yourself, by all means do it. I'm not telling you not to. I wish you the best of luck. I want you to get that ticket dismissed. But it's not something that we would do for you and it's really not something I would recommend you hire a lawyer to do for you because the chances are you'll pay the lawyer you're gonna lose the case and so you're stuck paying the fine anyways. I'd rather just see you take that money and, and get rid of this ticket in the first place. So that's how we handle these. Um, we don't. And so if 
you get too many of these tickets though, and you ignore them, you should know that this can then cause a suspension of your license. And so here's how that works. At least in the city of Chicago, uh, you get this ticket, it's typically a hundred bucks, and it winds up in the mail, you receive it, and you got about 45 days to take care of it, to pay it or, or contest it. If you ignore it, then it goes into final determination and the ticket doubles. A couple things happen when it doubles. One is typically a lawyer couldn't even fight it for you and you really can't even fight it yourself. There's some exceptions, but um, it's done with. Once it's doubled, then the ticket's kind of closed out. You've lost your ability to fight that ticket. And so it, then it really is just a financial issue and you owe twice as much money. So obviously don't let it double. Uh, the other thing is if you get five of these camera tickets uh, that wind up in final determination, then the city, the town, can submit that information to the Secretary of State. And the Secretary of State then can suspend your license. They're not suspending your license because you have a really bad driving record. Instead, they're suspending your license because you have a financial obligation to the city or the town that you have not uh, met, you haven't held up uh, that you know, obligation, and so then the Secretary of State says, well, we can't have our drivers out there not meeting their financial obligations. We're gonna suspend your license until you get this paid. Incredibly common, unfortunately, for people that have multiple tickets and they ignore them. And so that's not a position you wanna be in. So I recommend you address these tickets as you receive them. And, but if you are already in this position where your license is suspended for these tickets, well, there's really only two things you can do. Um, a lot of people call us trying to get us to help them. Again, these are already in final determination. We can't help you. Um, this is not something we can, we can do for you. Instead, you need to either get on a payment plan. Again, you don't need a lawyer to do this. You can simply contact the city, most commonly the city of Chicago, and work out some sort of payment plan with them. I'll provide a link here to get you in the right direction for the city of Chicago. If it's a different town, then just contact that town and see what you gotta do to get on a payment plan with them and hopefully free up your license. The other option is that you may, may be able to get these tickets discharged in bankruptcy. That's again, not something we do. If you're considering that and you're gonna file for bankruptcy, do everything you can to get these tickets included and discharged and that may be able to free up your license too. I got no further advice for you on that. We are not bankruptcy lawyers and we don't handle that. Um, but that's really it. So you can see that this can be a really big financial burden for you if you don't deal with these the right way. And so the right way, in my opinion, in our firm's opinion, is to handle it yourself. If you wanna go fight it, great, go ahead. Or well, what I often do, if, if they got me, they got me, I mail in the ticket and uh, I'm done with it that way. And I don't wanna do that, but that, that's the case. And I try to avoid getting these tickets in the future. There is some legislation currently pending at this time, um, maybe passed, might not, where these tickets won't suspend your license. But that's something you can look into on your own. Regardless, you're gonna have this financial obligation hanging over your head. And in my opinion, if the law changes where they can't suspend your license for having these past two tickets, they're just gonna find a, some other way to ring you up, right, to hang this over your head. Um, and so, try to take care of them. And this really applies to parking tickets as well. It's really the same thing in the sense that they don't affect your record unless you get a bunch of them, in this case, 10 parking tickets, unpaid, then they're gonna submit it to you, to the Secretary of State and, and cause you a headache. So in summary, I hate these, you hate these, Everyone hate these, hates these, but they are just a financial obligation and it's up to you to handle that finan financial obligation however you see fit. It's not something you should pay a lawyer to do. So good luck with these and thank you for watching.